the Starbucks brand uh, has been built very differently than a traditional consumer brand. Primarily, uh, we did not advertise and have not spent money on traditional marketing. So the business quintessentially was based and built by the experience in our stores. And that experience comes to life based on the relationship we have with our people and they have with the customer. What we've been able to do though in all over the world is that experience is as relevant in Dubai and Shanghai and Madrid as it is in our home market in Seattle. Yeah. Because we've, we've touched on something that is not American. It, it is a sense of humanity, connection among people, and the sense of community that exists in our stores. We've also found that customers all over the world want the core Starbucks experience, and then the responsibility on us is to create local relevancy in terms of food and other things uh, that are based on the unique differences in that market. But uh, I think we're one of the few Western brands that have been able to expand all over the world uh, in, a, in the same way that we expand in Seattle. There has been a seismic change to consumer behavior, mm -hmm. and one of the primary reasons is the hyper-connectivity mm -hmm. as a result of social and digital media. What we have done as a company over the last two, three years is make a significant investment in building that capability. Mm -hmm. It's not an accident that we are the number one consumer brand on Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter. Uh, it also has resulted in a lower cost of customer acquisition and a much higher level of emotional engagement with our customers. So I think every company, small or large, is going to have to recognize that traditional media is going to play a subordinate role to social and digital media in the future. Mm -hmm.